Good morning, you, Emmanuel. That song has a special meaning for me. When I was seeking the Lord about retiring, this is the song that kept coming to me for like two weeks. I mean, it would be morning, during the night, at work, and it was constantly trusting the Lord. If I couldn't have my earbuds on at work, I'd be singing it. I didn't care who was around. I just sing it out loud, you know, trust in the Lord. I'll have to tell you all about that one day. Anyway, let's go to the Lord in prayer, everybody. Let's stand. Heavenly Father, we just thank you that we can trust in the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory, Father. We thank you, Holy Spirit. And we welcome you here today, Father. And Lord Jesus, we just ask that everything will be done according to your will, Father, that you'll be glorified and magnified, Father. And Lord, we just ask that you'll touch hearts and lives today, Father, and the salvation of souls, Father. And Lord, we just ask for you, Lord Jesus, to be in total control, because it's in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Y'all can be seated. We want to say happy birthday to Kathy, to Audrey, to Joseph, to Bill, Valana, aka Val, Mason, and others in April. Uh, today we have Children's Church with Miss Tina, and Monday the meeting, uh, church meeting will be at the Greasons. Y'all can have all the barbecue you want because it's going to be provided. Debbie's saying bring a side dish, though, okay? That means vegetables and vegetables, desserts. All right. Kenny's going to bring left and right hands to eat the barbecue with. All right. Um, Wednesday night Bible study with Kenny at 730. And the 27th, uh, the Jesus Changes Everything Women's Conference. See Misty if you need information on that. It's in Monroe. May the 4th is the uh, new Emanuel Ladies Banquet at 11 a.m. Uh, ordinary moments, extraordinary God. That's good. May the 12th is Mother's Day. And um, y'all be in prayer for the special offering on Mother's Day. Um, Y'all remember all of these in prayer, and uh, I want to welcome the guests, too. <laughs> Y'all give me a second. For the ones that don't know, I lost my son a year ago in February, and it's still very, very raw because he was my son. So y'all just overlook my tears. It's a mama's heart. Can't do anything about it. But you know, God gives us tears because it releases. It releases. All right. Welcome to our guest. We are greatly appreciative that you found us today. And we hope that you continue to come back because once you come once, you're no longer a guest, but you are family. Amen. <laughs> uh, and back to the prayer request. Y'all please remember all of these that are on there. Even if you don't do anything but call their name before the Lord, the Lord knows what they have need of. Today I have the devotion. So I've titled this devotion, Boots on the Ground. Why? <laughs> because it's time for battle. It's time for battle. In Ephesians 6, 10 through 19, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities 
I looked up what principalities was because I wanted to make sure. But it's unseen realms to oppose everything and everyone that belongs to the Lord. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand the evil day and having done all to stand, stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And above all, above all, take the shield of faith wherewith you shall be able to quench all, all, that's all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword, the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Praying, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Last Sunday, I went home after the homecoming celebration and I sat down on the sofa and I said, Lord, you know, I need a devotion for Sunday. I knew I already had two written out, but it was like, no, not those two. Mm -mm. He was giving me something else. So nothing came, I prayed and, uh, and nothing came to me. So I just continued to pray, just continued just to talk to the Lord. And I started praying for Israel. And um, this is how God works. I had a vision. Right in the midst, talking to the Lord, he gives me a vision. This is the vision. I could see a vast army come down from heavens, and they hit the ground. I heard the boots as they hit. I could feel the rumble of the ground. Trembled. It trembled. And they were running for battle, straight into the battle. Immediately, the words, boots on the ground, came to me. I believe the Lord had had me to ask for the devotion and to ask for protection for Israel to, because they're in war uh, to prepare me for the vision. Thursday, I was talking to Martha. We had to meet here to do some things for the church. And I told her about the vision. And she was like, now y'all just preach your Martha. <laughs> oh, really? 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 <laughs> <laughs> just totally shocked. And so anyway, she said, this is why. Because the Lord had given her <laughs> the same vision. The same vision. When we were going to go through the transition the Lord had for us in the old building in Emmanuel. The only difference was is that the Lord told her when the army hit the ground, the words were the sounds on the ground and they were running toward Emmanuel yeah. <clears throat> with both of us having the same vision even years apart it established <laughs> by God and will shortly come to pass according to Genesis 41 and 32 now this is Joseph given the interpretation and for that, the dream was doubled unto Pharaoh twice. It is because the thing is established. It's established by God. And God will shortly bring it to pass. <clears throat> when we put on the whole armor of God, he sends out the troops. Boots on the ground, and you can hear the sounds that they make. It's time for battle. It's time for battle, people. All right. I looked up boots on the ground, and the term boots on the ground is a military term, meaning an actual soldier, possibly several thousand. Troops need their boots on the ground and be ready for battle. The angelic army had hit the ground ready for battle in both Martha and my visions. God's angelic army is coming for your rescue. They are marching 
and they will lead you to deliverance and to victory. Open your eyes and see. The Syrians were fighting against Israel in 2 Kings 6, 15 through 17. When the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, a host combassed the city with both with horses and chariots. And his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? And he answered, Fear not. For they that who shut on them a host of them shut on them see. Fear not, people. Fear not. Fear not. For they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. We have to be fully armored and ready to fight. Why God said, take on the whole armor of God? He didn't leave us unprotected. And he didn't leave us defenseless. He didn't leave us with only part of the gear needed to fight battles. It's important to be fully dressed for battle. There isn't one soldier who would go to battle without being fully equipped to fight the battle that's before him and neither should we. Can you imagine the soldier going to battle without a gun? How would he defeat the enemy? The gun is the weapon to fight and conquer. God has given us the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God to fight and conquer. Open up your spiritual eyes and look toward the mountains. It is full of warring angels ready to fight your battle. This angelic army fights for you and they are more powerful. They are more larger, they are stronger, and they are mightier than anyone or anything that comes against you as a child of God. When we equipped ourselves with the whole armor, the whole armor, God has our back and he will fight our battles with us and for us. He sends his angelic army with the boots hitting the ground and they're running straight into the battle to win the war for our victory. Whoo, Jesus. Praise team, if y'all come forward.